Do you love or hate pumpkin spice flavored things? Well, this year you'll have more time to love it or hate it because Starbucks is going to start selling their pumpkin spice lattes on August 25th, almost a full month before fall officially begins. My question to you guys, does this specific type of holiday creep make pumpkin spice less special? Do you even care about pumpkin spice things? Louis, how do you feel about pumpkin spice? I don't mind it so much because it's been a little bit colder, so August feels more fallish than summer, but if it were like, you know, 98 degrees, 100 degrees, then I'd be like, what are they doing talking about pumpkins in August, you know? I don't mind the creep as long as it makes sense, and as long as it's not, you know, July 4th and they're talking pumpkin spice. Right, right. So an unseasonably cold week uh, would be a good time to release pumpkin right. spice perfect, things perfect, and you'd be like... Absolutely perfect timing, yeah. Okay. But then what if they release it during a good weather like good fall like weather and then it goes up again should they yank it from shelves it's and already then... out. it's already out. they should keep it out i mean the, uh -huh. the only bad thing about it is like you know if, if it's a special drink that's supposed to be available only like during like one season and they start you know breaking it out to other seasons then it's not then it's not special anymore that's that's my one complaint about it keep it special you know yeah yeah dan does releasing it early ruin its specialness well here's the thing i mean if if i had to put it into perspective, pumpkin spice is my least favorite Spice Girl. I'm more of a more of a uh, posh spice myself. <laughs> so um, if they started selling a posh spice latte, oh yeah, uh, that that could be all year round, round is what I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, no, you know this is a thing. It's like uh, pretty soon they're just going to release every single holiday in January. Mm. I mean, because I, I went to uh, TJ Maxx the other day and they've already got. Halloween and Thanksgiving stuff already out, mm -hmm. and I mean, if they should at least give it like a six a sixty day window, you know, I, I I don't know. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the pumpkin spice thing anyway. My wife loves them, but to me, it's just it just kind of clutters up the uh, menu board for my ordering preferences. See, I care a a lot about Are pumpkin really? spice things, almost maybe too much. <laughs> I don't. I don't go pumpkin spice crazy, but you know I'll have a latte or two during the season. But I do love pumpkin beer. Um, but to me, pumpkin spice things are an indicator more that my favorite season, which is fall, is coming, or that it's it's here. You know, right. And part of me does worry that, you know, by releasing it early, this will kind of rev my autumn engine a little too soon, and I'll run out of enthusiasm before even Halloween shows up. Right. But I guess then I could just have another pumpkin spice latte and get right back into the game, you know? So um, is that your favorite beverage there, is the pumpkin spice latte or the uh, pumpkin spice lemonade or the ooh, pumpkin that sounds, spice bread? Oh, that or, sounds terrible. Pumpkin spice uh, lemonade? Everything's going to be pumpkin spice, dude. You're going to walk in there and... I tried. I'm, you know, seriously. During, during the fall, they should offer pumpkin spiced medications. <laughs> I think so. Oh, I have, I have a cold. Here's some pumpkin spice children's chewable yeah, pilot. Here's so some pumpkin spice NyQuil. Oh, yeah. Well, that could be dangerous. Actually, that could. <laughs> People will be making cocktails out of that pumpkin spice. So, I mean, for me, yes, you can have too much of a good thing. Is pumpkin spice one of those things? For me, not yet. We'll see. Yes. Well, that's our two cents. What's yours, viewer? How do you feel about pumpkin spiced foods? Love them? Hate them? Tell us in the comments below. And if there are any deals to be had on pumpkin spiced foods, you'll find them over at dealnews.com. That's dealnews.com. For dealnews.com, along with Luis Ramirez and Dan Ledbetter, I'm Jeff Sumaji. Goodbye. <laughs>